Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming back at you. This is going to be our last test of today. We are doing our test route 2 that is coming home from my parents. Uh, what happens at this place is it... See, this is how it should work, right here. That stops at the stop sign and went through. Uh, I think I pushed it so I didn't stop completely at the bush. Run, squirrel, run! It survived. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, it's doing... Well, it's not perfect. Uh, it's definitely doing better than the last update going down this hill. For sure. This is the most it's ever gone on the wrong side of the road right there on that turn. It needs to slow down just a little bit more. I know if previous updates would actually go that fast and make it, so I know I can do it. It's just um, something has changed with the logic and it now messes up. It doesn't seem to be as confident with poor lane lines now. So a blind right turn and there are no cars coming, so we are good to go. A lot of phantom braking this afternoon. It could be that the shadows are back. We're getting some pretty harsh sun, low angle sunlight here. That could be why. Like right here. Like is either delayed for that car or is braking because of the shadows. Let's see if it stops at the stop sign here. It's trying to. Good, good. Finally did it stop at that stop sign. Now the key is that it's gonna do it next time I come through here, and next update, is it gonna stop at that stop sign? It's still not gonna turn the blinker on here. Let's see if it'll, snapshot might get them to turn on the blinker, I don't know. It's never turned on the blinker there. That this though this is one of the smoothest times it's ever maneuvered through there, so that's really good. Why is it stopping so far back for stoplights? That's the second or third time today it's done that. Okay, so it no longer went in the turn lane though, it turned on the turn signal for no reason. And the speed limits are going up and down all over the place again. Okay, so I had turned it on as soon as it automatically turned it on, but I don't know if me going the same way canceled it. So we're going to assume that did it on its own. I don't know how that didn't disengage. It's definitely swerved. I, I turned the wheel to swerve back, but it happened to swerve back at the same time I was turning the wheel. Let's see if it can read the speed limit sign. See a very clear 20 mile an hour sign. Does not change. It changes here because of map data. It's eventually gonna do it. There it goes. It's only doing that because of map data. It doesn't read that speed limit sign. I have at least three or four areas where it does not read speed limit signs. And I don't know why. I've reported it to Tesla and nothing has been being done about it, so I don't know. And not just with the camera button. I've emailed when it was only early access um, to the beta. And only a handful of people had it. As when I emailed about it. And I still get it. Uh, so I don't, it basically goes into kind of a black hole, if you will. They don't see every email. They do read them. I've had them. Uh, I know for a fact they've read my emails before. But uh, it's just now when you have thousands of extra people in the and the program all submitted feedback like that there's only so much you can read through i'm sure of it um they probably look for special cases with the car like really rapid braking or anything like that are the most important things to look for uh, when it comes to reviewing data
see how it does get it on the on ramp here. I just kind of like to let it see what it's going to do. You can see it trying to get over. It needs to get over a little bit sooner and it needs to still turn the blinker on. Okay, <laughs> it jammed on the brake because it thought that truck was in the middle of the road and not in the lane there. Go ahead and make sure. Okay. That was, um, yeah. It, it braked hard. It was going to come to a complete stop, I think, until it got closer to the truck. But it would have um, really... Um, either pissed off or I really freaked out the person behind me uh, for sure that um, was unexpected from my point of view it's never done that before So it got off the exit good. We're looking for that it doesn't try and turn right up here. Should make a left turn. Very good. I don't think I even saw any hesitation right there. The car coming. It's stopped for it. It's good to go. Yeah, I really wish it would fix the speed limit. If I could just fix those, the smoothness in my area would be spectacular. This drive was, um, oh, wait, did we get, I'm not even sure, <laughs> yeah, we did this zero disengagements anyway, I think this is the only zero disengagement drive today, I'm trying to think, I thought I had a disengagement, um, definitely some good interventions, but yeah, I don't, I'm trying to go back through my head. We did not have a disengagement on this drive the whole way. It's pretty awesome. That's a good way to end the day. Um, yeah. If you have guys and you have any questions, I appreciate you watching as always. If you're not already subscribed and, and you're curious to see more of these videos or have suggestions for me, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the like button if you really want to help su support me. That does apparently help the algorithm. So that'll help share it with more people to see the video. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down below. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.